Good morning all. Humidity meters or hygrometers. I've got three here. I've got a little electronic square one, electronic round one and a mechanical round one which is just a coil of some sort of material, I'm not quite sure what, uh, attached to her needle and then there's a paper dial underneath. Now they're all in reasonably good agreement, particularly the two electronic ones, uh, 5959 and this one is reading a about 55 so that's not quite so good so are these things accurate well they agree with each other which is sort of one step towards having confidence that they're accurate uh, they agree reasonably well on temperature as well 21.5 21.3 but what are the specs for these things well here's the round one I mean it was only two dollars 33 so it was pretty cheap um, but the spec is measuring accuracy, plus or minus one degree uh, temperature, but plus or minus five percent relative humidity. That's pretty bad. So if we assume that the square one is absolutely exact and accurate, then the round one could be as high as 63 uh, percent or as low as, well, 53 percent. That's a huge deviation. The spec for the square one, however, is exactly the same. Uh, here it is, humidity measurement accuracy plus or minus 5% at room temperature. So that's just as bad. Now I bought these to check uh, a dehumidifier, which I bought from Lidl, as it happens, it's really good. Um, but how do I know what reference humidity is? Because uh, although these two agree reasonably well, they could be plus 5% or minus 5% from what they're actually indicating. I suppose the more of these I buy, the more confidence I would have that they are accurate, but that's not really uh, to say that they're exactly calibrated. So what can I do? Well, maybe this is the answer. It's an SI7021. Now, confusingly, the board also says SHT21 and HTU21. It also, on the reverse side, has the part number GY21, but that actual chip, which is uh, the humidity sensor, this thing that's got the little white cover on it, is an SI7021. It also does temperature as well. So here's the data sheet for the SI7021, and this is a little bit better. This is plus or minus 3% relative humidity, max. Uh, I'm not sure what max means. Does it mean that it could actually be a lot better than plus or minus 3%? don't know uh, and that is between 0 and 80 percent relative humidity our uh, temperature is very accurate at plus or minus 0.4 degrees celsius so uh, maybe this is the answer and certainly if this uh, si7021 agrees with these two then i know that um well i can assume that these two are reasonably accurate but uh, this would have to be my reference now i can't find any humidity meter that is more accurate than this SI7021, so it's got to be this. However, this doesn't have a display on it. This needs uh, a display and a computer, so I need that. I'll need uh, an OLED, and I'll need an Arduino. But uh, I'm gonna need something else, aren't I? Because this has a wide operating voltage of 1.9 to 3.6 volts but the Arduino is 5 volts, so I'm going to need a, a, three, a 5 volts to 3.3 volts level translator. Now I like these uh, level converters here, which also have the 3.3 volt, or it might be a 3 volt, regulator on board. So not only does it have the two MOSFETs that um, does the level conversion from 5 volts to 3.3, but you can actually power the, your 3.3 volt device, which will be the uh, SI7021, from five volts converted down to three by that regulator. So I'm gonna to have to take this off this uh, touch switch board because it's the only one I can find. So I'll do that now. So I've decided to solder the sensor directly to the um, level translator, which is probably not everyone's idea of a sensible thing to do because it's slightly less flexible, but I'm probably only ever going to use this sensor on five volts. So that's VCC. So I've put uh, VCC, uh, S clock and S data as jumps, jumpers on the top there. 
a ground jumper on the bottom because it just happened to fit better that way. Now what about um, I squared C pull-ups? Well there are four 103s on the sensor board itself. They may be working as I squared C pull-ups but they're the other side of the level translators. So I'm not quite sure what the effect of that is. Um, there's a load of 103s either side of the level translation MOSFETs. Two on this side, two on that side. So do they work as I squared C pull-ups? They might. Um, I don't think there are any I squared C pull-ups on my OLED. I think it's these two traces here which go into 101s, 100 ohms, and then straight onto the ribbon cable. So I don't think there are any there. Um, it doesn't really matter if you parallel the I squared C pull-ups up as long as you don't uh, have too low a resistance that it uh, pulls the line high too much. So I think we're ready to connect up. Now there are only one SDA and one SCL on the Arduino. I've got a feeling they're also on the ICSP header. Uh, are they? I can't remember. Uh, no, it seems that uh, SCL and SDA, which are I squared C, are on analog to digital uh, 4 and 5. SCL is on ADC 5. Um, so I could tap off SCL and SDA and A4 and A5. They should be paralleled up. Now SCL, I can see it's there. It's the last pin. And that runs down all the way down there and across the bottom to the bottom corner pin there, which is A5. So certainly SCL connects to A5. I'm just going to take it as red. I can't follow the trace, but SDA goes to A4. Okay. But what I can probably do first is just wire my uh, SI7021 sensor to the Arduino and get some humidity readings uh, sent back over the serial monitor. Ah, now this is an old uh, USB type B, so I'll have to find a cable for that. Uh, otherwise known, of course, as a printer cable. So let's plug that into the Arduino. So yesterday I upgraded uh, my Arduino to the latest one, 1612. Now if I go to sketch uh, include library manage libraries we get the library manager thing come up and uh, when that's uh, fully updated if I now do a search for uh, SI7021 it comes up with this I squared C sensor library by Ingmar Split so I thought well let's use that then uh, here's the SI7021 listed there so I've installed that. Um, let's see if there's any um, examples for that. Right, uh, so that'll be under File, Examples. Uh, so where's this? Oh, there we are. I squared C sensor lib, I lib. And there's the SI7021. So let's maximize that. Right, that needs wire, I squared C, uh, and that which should be installed now. Ah, okay, so it does serial print of temperature and humidity. Yeah, that should be good. That should come back over the serial monitor. So let's wire up the sensor and then install, uh, well, upload this um, sketch. Right, so wiring this up, uh, VCC on purple, ground on black. So I can do those first. VCC on purple is there, five volts. Ground on black is the one next to it. Ground, and now we've just got to do SCL and SDA. Right, so uh, can I see my Arduino Uno first? Board is an Uno. Uh, com, COM3 seems to be right. Uh, okay, I should be able to do an upload. See if it compiles first. Uh, well, compilation took forever, but it does seem to on the uh, the newer versions of Arduino. Um, it's uploaded, it should be running. So let's get up a serial monitor, which is there. It says probe SI7021, but it's not doing anything. Uh, it is 115, 200 board. What if I change that to something else? Right, I've got some gobbledygook coming up. Let's put it back to 115. Uh, well, it seems to have got stuck just saying probe SI7021. I'm not actually getting any 
uh, stuff coming out. Let's try a different board rate. Stuff is coming out because there's a continuous stream of rubbish coming out at the wrong board rate. So why isn't it coming out at the right board rate? Oh, it is. Right. Temperature 23.1 or 2 ish. Humidity 66. But this is to two decimal places. That's completely bonkers. Well, the Arduino serial monitor is saying humidity 65.6. Uh, well, that's way different to these. So are, is it just lucky that these two are reading similar, but they're actually way low? 65.7, uh, it's now saying on the serial monitor. And these are both 58.59. Way too low by the looks of things. Right, let's think about doing this OLED. Now, I've just typed U8 into the library manager, and it's come up with U8G2. Uh, which it says is a successor of U8Glib. Now I've always used U8Glib, but uh, should really be using all the new stuff, so I think I might install U8G2. Let's install that. Right, I've gone uh, full screen on the uh, Arduino now, because I wanted to uh, show the U8G2 thing, which is way down here, U8G2. Now there's all sorts of stuff here, full buffer, games, page buffer, U8 by 8. I don't know which I'm supposed to use. Page buffer sounds a bit like the old one. Uh, hello world with a U8 page buffer. Let's uh, maximise that and try and get that working with the OLED. Right, this one is uh, SCL is grey. Now SCL as I remember it was a5 so gray must go on to analog 5 and correspondingly purple on analog 4 I suppose I ought to power this down really but uh, whatever right uh, ground and VCC I've lost my camera for some reason having problems with OBS uh, is on uh, VCC 2 ground 6 on the ICSP header VCC2 ground 6. So VCC which is white, VCC was 2 wasn't it? Ground 6. So black is 6, let's do ground first. Yeah. Black is 6, VCC is 2. So that should have powered the OLED up. Let's try a hello world. Right, so we've got SSD1306 which I'm pretty sure the OLED is. The only trouble is, we haven't got a hardware I squared C here. Uh, software SPI, hardware SPI, software I squared C, 6800, 8080. Uh, here's a hardware I squared C, but it's a 128.32. So where's the SSD1306 uh, hardware I squared C? Don't know where it is. Well, in the interests of getting the job done quickly, I've gone back to uh, U8G Lib. And uh, we've got SSD 1306, and I think these are the I squared C, hardware I squared C. Let's try that one. I can't quite remember which one it's meant to be, but let's give that one a go. Well, that took an actual, absolute age to compile. I thought it had crashed, but no, that's actually working. Hello world. So that's good. Now what I need to do is munge together the uh, software for this sensor and the display software and try and get this to display humidity. Right, I've munged these two bits of code together, had a few problems down here uh, with U8Glib. You can't use a uh, drawstring for printing variables, you have to use print, and to do that you have to set the print position, but once I got that sorted out, it is now printing to the display. So let's have a look at the uh, OLED. And so here it is, here's my hygrometer. Um, now that text is very small, let's change the font. Uh, so a quick change to this down here, uh, font OSB21 instead of font Unifont, uh, recompile and re-upload, and we have... So here it is, here's the hygrometer with the slightly larger font, uh, and the sensor, the SI7021, is saying that the humidity in this room is 64%. These two devices are saying 55%. Now, if two devices agree, are you supposed to trust them or are you supposed to trust the 
sensor uh, which has a better spec? I don't know. Um, let's just blow on that sensor, see if the humidity goes up. Yes, I mean, the humidity is going up, so the sensor would appear to be doing its job. That's gone up to 69%. These are going up a little bit because they're picking up that extra humidity. But there's still a massive disparity between the, uh, the little sensor here with the Arduino and the OLED and these two devices here. So I still don't really have a reference uh, hygrometer. I don't think I'm any better off, really. Right, I thought I'd uh, recompile with uh, the temperature in here. So I've moved humidity up to the top of the screen and temperature, which is temp here, down to the bottom. Let's see if temperature agrees between my hygrometer and the uh, cheap ones I bought on eBay. Uh, well, there's a better correlation there. 23.5 uh, degrees on the SI chip, 23.1, 23.3. So they're all pretty close, but certainly not the case with the humidity. I suppose really you can't expect cheap stuff. I mean, these things were all a couple of dollars each. What was the sensor price? That was probably only uh, four or five dollars, I expect. Can you expect cheap stuff like this to give you uh, accurate humidity readings? I mean, maybe the manufacturer of this sensor would claim that uh, that their sensor is accurate. I don't know. I don't have a reference, so uh, I'm none the wiser. Anyway, it was quite fun uh, getting back into Arduino. I haven't done an Arduino project for a long, long time. Uh, loading up libraries and fiddling about and trying to get the uh, software to work. C is always, it always confounds me, but it was quite fun getting the uh, sensor and the display to talk to each other and build your own hygrometer. So for the moment, cheerio.